Last week, I went to Target after the gym, just to get some milk. It was a weekday morning, and probably like 11 a.m. I went to the Target not that far away from my apartment and went inside. I walked straight for the grocery department, which was at the far other end of the store. Things didn't seem all that busy at first. When I got to the groceries, I found the milk, took one, and then walked up to the checkout. When I got near the check lanes, I saw that there was a very long line. I was kind of surprised because the store wasn't even that busy, but there was nothing that I could do. I waited in line and things moved slowly. After probably five minutes or so of waiting, finally it was my turn at one of the self-check lanes. It didn't take me long at all to pay for the milk and then I was on my way and left the store. I walked to my car that was at the back of the parking lot and got inside. It was then that I saw I had a new text message on my phone from a number not familiar to me. I opened it up and saw a picture of myself waiting in line inside Target taken just minutes earlier. It was taken from near the exit doors and kind of zoomed in. I thought it must be from one of my friends and they were playing a joke on me or something. I had gotten a new phone not that long before this so it must have been why I didn't recognize the number. I was thinking of which friend it would be that would go there. When I was inside, I definitely hadn't seen anybody that I knew or recognized. I texted back, asking who it was. Whoever had sent me the text responded pretty quickly, so fast that I saw it before I even put my phone down. It said in all caps, your stalker. Obviously, this still seemed like a joke to me. I replied something like, LOL, and then I set my phone down to drive home. I went back to my apartment, which is a four-story building with a large parking lot. When I arrived back, I saw that I had a new text, and I looked at it before getting out of my car. The text said, no, really. I responded again by asking who this was that was texting me. They responded very quickly once more, but it was a picture. I looked at it and saw that it was of the back of my car. I looked behind me in the parking lot and saw a car parked directly behind me in the other row. I could see somebody in the driver's seat but couldn't make out any details. Whoever it was appeared to be wearing a hat and sunglasses. I didn't recognize them or the car as anybody that I knew though. By now, I was really creeped out and I was afraid to go inside my apartment. Maybe whoever it was would try to follow me inside. I blocked the number and then backed out of my parking space and started driving away. I hadn't noticed the car following me to my apartment at all, but I now noticed it following me out of the parking lot. When I left my apartment complex, I merged onto a busier road. There were lots of cars going both ways. The car behind me followed as I drove a little ways down. I came up to a flashing yellow arrow to turn left, and I got in the left turn lane. Traffic was thick, and cars were coming non-stop, so I was unable to turn immediately. Then, finally, when the light turned to a solid yellow, I had an opportunity to go. But I waited until the very last moment, when the cars were starting to come from the opposite direction. By the time I went, the car behind me couldn't go and was stuck at the light. I was able to get away for a few minutes, and I drove right back to my apartment complex. This time, when I got there, I parked on the other side of the parking lot. Then, I quickly went inside. I didn't even bother to look out the window to the parking lot to see if the person came back. But after that, I didn't receive any more strange texts. I haven't seen them since, either. I worked at a super target for almost two years. I quit just a couple of months ago and have gotten another job since then. But working at Target was good for the most part. When I was first hired, I started out as a cashier. But after a few months, I changed and worked around the store and only did cashier when an extra one was needed. Usually that was just at busier times or if somebody called in. So this story is something that happened probably about a year ago maybe. I was working at night and things were pretty quiet. I was back sort of near the electronics department, which is at the back center of the store. It was then that a man approached me and said that he needed help with something. The guy was sort of tall and I remember was wearing a black sweatshirt. I asked him how I could help and he said that he was looking for some plates. He asked me if I could show him where they were and said that he had been looking around for a while. I said that I could and I knew exactly where they were. 
I understood how it might be hard for him to find them. We would remodel our store and organize it quite often, and were always updating things. The plates and silverware were in the far back corner of the store, which is generally a quieter area. The man followed me as I walked over there, which didn't take very long. Soon we made it to the general area. When I was approaching the aisle at the far back corner, I noticed something a little bit strange. There were three other men standing around near the plates. Each of them was wearing a ski mask over their heads. I couldn't tell who they were or anything because of this. They were all just standing there, facing me, and when I started to approach, they looked at me. This seemed very suspicious and gave me a bad feeling. Why were they all wearing ski masks and what were they doing? They didn't seem to be looking at anything, but when I came into view, they were suddenly all looking at me. I only saw them for probably three or four seconds, and then I turned and walked down the very next aisle to get out of there. When I did, I heard the first guy who had been following me say to wait, but I didn't. I just kept walking and got out of that area. I felt better when I was a few aisles away. The guy did not keep following me and I was now by myself. I didn't bother to look back to see if the guys were still there or not. I went to another area of the store and went back to work doing what I had been going to do before the guy asked me for help. As I was over there, I was wondering what exactly was going on. I still didn't know why those guys were wearing masks. Most people don't just go into a store wearing ski masks unless they're planning to rob the place or something. I looked around as I worked, but I didn't see any of the other guys. After several minutes, I decided to go back over and see if they were still there. I'm not sure if I was just really curious or what. I walked over to the corner of the store, and when I got there, saw nobody. There wasn't really anybody at all in that immediate area. By then, it was probably about 9 p.m., and there weren't many shoppers at all. The ones that were inside the store were mostly on the other side where groceries were. I worked until 10 p.m., so I only had about an hour left and went back to work in the meantime. During that final hour of work, I did not see any of the men. Then, at 10 o'clock, the store closed, and I walked up to the front, clocked out, and left. There was a door in the middle for employees only where I would leave. As I left the store and started walking through the parking lot to my vehicle, there were still a decent amount of cars there. Quite a few people worked overnights at Target, and some others hadn't left yet that were still there. But I hadn't even made it that far when I spotted a car with about four people in it. I immediately noticed the men wearing masks as the same men who had been inside the store earlier. The car was a ways away, but I saw the people inside turn and look at me as I approached. I turned right back around when I saw this and walked for the employee door that I had come out of. The employee door was only about 20 feet away, and when I got back to it, somebody else was leaving. That allowed me to go back inside of the store. When I was in there, I went into the break room and just waited. I had a really bad feeling about those guys. I wasn't sure why they were still there either. About 15 minutes later, I went back out and checked, and the men were now gone. After that, I walked out to my vehicle and left. I never saw those people again after that, although the only one I would have recognized was the guy who had asked me for help. Everybody else had been wearing a ski mask over their face. My theory is that it was some type of a setup. I was lucky to get away as early as I did. I worked at Target, pushing carts out in the parking lot for a little bit more than a year. The Target that I worked at was very large, so I was kept busy most of the time. This particular story took place one night when I was working until 11 p.m., which is when we closed. I don't remember exactly when I started, but by the ends of my shifts, my legs would be so tired from walking so much, I would end up going all around the parking lot and even to the sides of the buildings a little bit. I had to get every single cart from the parking lot or else my boss would yell at me, and people wouldn't always put carts back where they belonged in the cart return areas either. They would be lazy and leave them next to their parking space or others would try to leave it by a curb. Each time I worked, there would be at least one that would somehow wind up at the far corner of the parking lot or on the side of the building. A couple of times, carts even got into nearby businesses' parking lots, which drove my boss crazy. So because of this, I was always keeping an eye out for carts anywhere they could possibly be. My eyes were trained to see the bright red color of the shopping carts and to go and get it wherever it was. On this night, when things were quieting down at maybe 8 p.m. or so, I was walking around the parking lot. 
I always liked it when things quieted down. Obviously, it was less busy, which meant less carts. But also, I would not have to rush or worry about cars driving by me as much as I pushed the carts around. It was during this time that I was walking to the west side of the building just to make sure that there were no carts there. Along that side of the building was a quiet road leading to the back where some deliveries were made. It wasn't really used for typical cars. Next to that road was a grassy area with some trees, and then next to that was the road where cars would take to leave. As I looked over there, I saw there was a man there and I wasn't really sure what he was doing. It was very unusual for people to be there because there wasn't really any reason for it. The guy did not see me and I didn't think that much of it. When I saw there were no carts over there, I just walked away. I went around the rest of the parking lot collecting shopping carts here and there. But about 30 minutes later, I was still in the parking lot and I was walking to get some carts. I saw a man entering the Target store and it was the same guy who I had seen on the side of the building but now he was wearing a Target employee uniform. He had a red shirt and khakis on, and he hadn't been wearing that before. I thought it was a little bit odd because I didn't recognize him either, but overall, I didn't question it. I didn't know all of the employees because it's a really large store. We were also always hiring new people. I had too much work to do, and after I brought in the carts, I had to go and clean the restrooms. My boss would always get mad if I missed an hour of cleaning the restrooms. At night, it would finally be easy to do so because there would be customers always coming in and out earlier. After that, I went back into the parking lot to continue working. The next stretch of time was pretty uneventful. The store only got quieter and quieter, and I was able to get most of the carts back inside of the store. But sometime later, I'm not really sure exactly how long, I saw several police cars arriving to the target. Some had flashing lights. I was very curious as to what exactly was going on, but I didn't bother to ask. Some officers entered the store, and other cars went around to the back side. Eventually, my curiosity got the better of me, and I went inside and asked my boss what was going on. What I was told was that the store had been robbed. Apparently, items had been taken from the back room areas of the store and moved out through the back door. This was one of the doors used for deliveries. I would later find out that the man that I had seen on the side of the target and walking inside had been part of it. He pretended to work there and went into the back room and opened up the door. There were guys waiting in a car right outside. He put a bunch of items inside and then they left. I ended up talking with police about what I had witnessed, but after that night, I didn't hear much about it again. I'm not sure if they found those guys or what. I just hope that my information helped. I'm not sure if I'm glad the guy didn't see me or not when I spotted him at the side of the building. I work at Target and I'm going to tell you something that happened a couple of months ago. I've been working there for six months now and I'm mainly a cashier. I do some other things around the store as well though. For the entire time that I've been an employee, I've also been part-time. Most weeks, I get between 20 and 40 hours, with my record being 36. I work a lot of times at night, and our store closes at 10 p.m. But when I get to work, it's usually about 2 p.m. or so, so things are busier then. I have always parked at the far back of the parking lot and away from the store. We are not required to do so, but it's a habit for me. Plus, when I get there, the parking lot is often a lot busier. So one time, I was working 2 o'clock to 10 on a Saturday. When I arrived at Target at about 1.45 p.m., the parking lot was especially packed. Weekends are typically much busier than weekdays, and I don't remember if we had a sale going on or something, but it was really busy. I parked all the way at the back corner of the parking lot. The Target parking lot is connected with some other businesses as well. There was a Chili's restaurant that the parking lot connected very close to where I had parked. I got out and walked inside Target. Then I started my shift. It went pretty fast in the beginning. Over time, things slowed down, and eventually it became nighttime. The last couple of hours dragged on, but at 10 p.m. I was finally off. I clocked out and left the store. By now, it was nighttime and the parking lot was basically empty. There were a few cars in the middle, and I could see my car all by itself in the back far corner. I walked out to it and got inside. I drive a smaller SUV called a Jeep Cherokee. When I got inside my car, I did what I usually do. 
I have a habit of going on my phone and checking the text and stuff that I got during work, or at least during the last few hours of work. Then I drive home. On this night, as I sat in my car in the quiet parking lot, I noticed a man walking. He was coming out of the Chili's parking lot, which was also very quiet now at this hour. The man had a backpack on and started going closer to my car. I was expecting him to walk through the Target parking lot and then go who knows where. It seemed like he was going to go past my car, but I noticed him looking over at me a few times. When the man got directly behind my car, he then stopped. Then he got right up to the back of my window and started looking inside of it. I thought that this was really weird and didn't know what this guy was doing. I wasn't really sure what to do either. I couldn't drive away because he was blocking me. The guy was looking directly into the rear window to my car. I hoped that he would just walk away, but he didn't at first. The guy remained there for a very uncomfortable amount of time. I didn't want to open the window and ask him what he was doing or get out or anything. Instead, I just watched him and waited. I'm guessing that he was there for about two minutes, but obviously it felt like much longer. Finally, at last, the man moved away from my window and started walking away towards the target. Right then and there, I should have backed away and left, but I didn't. The guy got about 15 feet from my car and then took his backpack off. I'm not really sure why I was still watching him, other than I was just curious. He opened up the backpack and then pulled out what appeared to be a hammer. Then he suddenly started charging at me. He was going straight towards my driver's door. I had little to no time to react. When he reached me, he swung the hammer at my driver's window and the window broke. By then, I was finally able to get the car into reverse and hit the gas. The man swung the hammer again, but only hit part of the front window, which cracked part of it, but the window didn't break. I sped out of the Target parking lot like a maniac and then called the police. I drove home and just hoped that the police would catch the guy. I was told later on that they did in fact find him. Apparently, he had smashed several windows of other vehicles in the area. I had been the only person inside of a vehicle at the time that the window got smashed though. It remains one of the scariest things to ever happen to me. I worked at a Target department store briefly when I was age 16 to 17. This was kind of a long time ago now maybe like 2014 or 15. When I got the job, I was a cashier, and I worked there for about six months. It was a job that I liked, but wasn't the best job in the world or anything. I would mostly just be up at the check lanes bringing up customers. This occurrence happened probably about three months or so after I started working there. Back then, I had recently gotten my own car. It was actually my parents' car, but they let me use it because nobody else really did. I would drive it to and from work from my parents' house, which was almost 10 minutes away. This time, I was working from like 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. or something like that. I don't remember the exact hours, but that was probably pretty close. About an hour or so in, I got a phone call on my cell phone. I had my ringtone set to vibrate so that it wouldn't make noise at work, but I could feel it. I was unable to answer it or even look to see who it was because I was busy. There were several customers in line waiting for me to help them. My phone rang again before I had a chance to look. Finally, when there was a short break in people, maybe 10 minutes later, I looked. It was a number that I did not recognize and figured maybe it was a wrong number or something. I went back to work after that, but whoever it was called me yet again. It seemed pretty odd. As I was busy working, I don't even know how many more times the person called me. It was at least three or four. When it was time for my break, I went in and looked to see who it was. By now it was probably about 7 p.m. and I saw that the same person kept calling me. As I was doing that, they called again. Now that I wasn't working, I answered it. I heard a man's voice speaking and I did not recognize who it was. He asked if he was speaking to me, mentioning my name. I said yes and was surprised. I asked who this was that was calling. The man said that he was waiting for me. He said he knew I was working at Target and he would be waiting for me when I left by my car. He said he was in the parking lot. I was very worried when I heard this. I didn't know what to say and was speechless for a few moments. The guy then hung up on me. Suddenly, everything changed. It went from a normal shift to very weird and scary. For several minutes, I wasn't sure what to do. I didn't want to go out to my car and the guy was there. 
Possibly it was just a joke, but I didn't want to take any chances. I knew that I was parked in the back of the parking lot where it was not well lit. I ended up calling my mom and telling her about the calls that I had received. She told me that she would pick me up or my dad could. I did not feel safe walking out to my car. I also blocked the number that had been calling me. I went back to work after my break and kept a careful eye out. During the time that I was working, things were not as busy anymore. I was looking all around for anybody looking at me or seeming suspicious in any way. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary though. When it was 9 o'clock and I got off, my mom and dad called me and said that they were there to pick me up. I was really happy I wouldn't have to go back to my car by myself. I left the Target and went to my parents' car right out front. We drove through the parking lot and my dad wanted to go past my car. We did, and it was really dark so we couldn't see much, but there was a car parked just a few spaces from mine and somebody was inside of it. I couldn't tell any details about them though. Could that have been the person who had been calling me? We drove away after that. I left my car at the Target for like an hour and then my dad went and got it. He said that the guy was gone who had been there before. After that experience, the person never bothered me again. I still have lots of questions though.